Mistress, it's been a long day. I can see you are tired. Perhaps we should sit down and rest. There is something I wish to discuss with you. How can I see you are tired? Mistress, it is common amongst the living to sag at the shoulders when tired, as you do now. More than that, as a spirit, I can see things most still shackled to their mortal coil can't. Nearly all living things have an aura around them. If you watch it, it can shift in shade and shape, which I have learned to watch and observe for patterns. Yours gathers a telltale shade of grey when you are tired, as it does now. I advise resting. My gratitude, mistress. I shall go about setting up camp. When I am done, I wish to speak with you. Oh, we're stopping? That's good. <laughs> My knees aren't what they used to be. Uh, how far away is your father's old house again? Well, I guess we're making good time then. Hey, listen. I promise I won't try anything. I'd love to help set up camp. Uh, could, could one of you please untie my binds? My wrists are really starting to itch. And I doubt I could do anything anyway. I'm not as advanced as you are. I need bodies, shells for any spirits I would seek to summon. Besides, if I tried anything, your servant here would strangle the life out of me before I could say the first rites of dismissal. Not that I'm going to try that again. Trying to dismiss Zarenthal felt like the spell bounced off him and came back to me. It nearly killed me. Took everything I had to hold onto my body. I'm, I'm not planning on trying to dismiss any free spirits anytime soon now. Oh, thank you so much. Y you won't regret this. Uh, I know you don't have any right to trust me after what I did to you, but I promise I'll make things up to you. I feel terrible knowing that I was taking you to that that thing. It, it's still hard to believe that just a week ago I thought that thing was benevolent. An ally. Mistress, I don't know if I can recommend untying what could potentially be an enemy. All right, I'll stay close by him. If he tries anything, I'll dispatch him. No? All right, subdue him then. All right, all set up. Mistress, I'll keep watch like last night. I do not require sleep. I will alert you if I see anyone. Mistress, about that thing I wanted to talk with you about. Well, I didn't want to bring attention to it earlier. You had enough on your mind. But I fear our prisoner may not be everything he claims. What I mean to say is, is it only coincidence that the flesh golem appeared right after his arrival? I'm not trying to pronounce any type of judgment, mistress. Only something to keep in mind. I will begin my watch. The prisoner and I got a fire going. I recommend warming yourself. The nights get cold this time of year. Hello, er, I mean, hi, again. Uh, I got you a log, if you'd like. It's not the most elegant of furnitures, but it functions. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not very good at socializing. I consider people secondary in my life until just recently. Um, how are you holding up? Oh, I'm sorry about your friend. He seemed very capable, though. If anyone would have made it out of that situation alive, it would have been him. Talking about your companions, your spirit, he seems really familiar. He didn't happen to ever pass by Brixton, did he? You don't know. Hmm. Listen, I shouldn't pry. I know I have no right. I'm a prisoner. And rightfully so, after what I've done. But when Zarenthal was rambling away about his intentions, he mentioned you were of the line of Aboriel, renowned for their ability in necromancy. Um, what's it like? Is it like having an endless wellspring of willpower? Or is it 
a strength that you can discharge at any moment. Have you, um, ever been able to save anyone from death? Hmm. You don't know again. You've only learned you had this connection just recently. Huh. Clearly, there's something different between you and me. My thrall was an achievement of mine. I made it under the tutelage I received under the Society of Zarenthal. I don't even know if I could fuse a spirit and body like that again on my own. Yet, you have the power to hold your spirit servant here without a body, and with seeming no apparent consequences. I'm kind of jealous. You say that, but for the longest time, I've been so focused on necromancy. Understanding and gaining power over death, it's been my only goal. My only thought for so long, I'm not sure who I am without it. But you, you surpass me without even trying. Tell me, and be honest now, do you feel anything? Anything at all? A tug, a numbness, a call for concentration, for holding a bodiless spirit this side of the gate? Nothing. Wow, I... Oh, you do feel something? A sensation, a tingling on your face, a... Uh, oh, bless you. <laughs> oh, wow, I don't even compare. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make you feel bad about your ability. It's incredible. You should never feel ashamed of being who you are. I like who you are very much. It would be very disorienting for you to dislike something I admire so much. Oh, did I add too much wood to the fire? Your skin is reddened. I'm sorry. I got used to my thrall doing this for me. Here, I'll arrange it away from us. Listen, I wanted to thank you properly this time. It's been a confusing couple of weeks for me, but it's had to have been much worse for you. And most of that is my fault. If my mother taught me anything, it's to be aware of the effect my actions will have on others. And because of me, you have been kidnapped. Your friend is in who knows what state, and you are on the run from a dangerous free spirit. And yet, despite all this, you forgive me, like you're giving out free samples at a fairground. My offenses have been anything but menial, yet you have mercy on what should by all accounts be your enemy, and I'm grateful. What's more, I hope to make it up to you. If you don't mind, I'd like to remain as your prisoner for a while. Repay what I owe you, but also, perhaps, get to know you better. Maybe even become friends. It's just, you inspire me so much. I, oh, I've made things awkward, haven't I? Sorry. I'm sure I'll get better with socializing. I just need some practice. Yeah, you're right. It is late. We should get some rest. Here, I'll put out the fire. Sleep well. Thanks for listening. Um, I just wanted to add a short uh, afterward here of thanks to everyone because uh, we were able to reach 50 subscribers and I'm just so tickled. That's amazing. I'm just some nobody with a phone and a laptop trying to make something and it's so cool that there are people out there that enjoy it or at least are listening. I don't know. Um, Thank you so much.